Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, if you're new, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. If you're not new, welcome back. Hopefully you enjoyed the previous videos. Still, I've not found another person for High Roller, so I don't know when the next episode of that will be coming out. But today, I will be talk looking at a topic that is kind of a bit... Okay, before I even start the topic, I'm saying, I'm saying this is all information that I've found and gathered I don't I'm not saying any of it is true and I'm at the same time I'm not saying any of it is false I'm just a middle party here so any legalities and everything like that that's all down to you lot I've got no issues with any of the parties involved so whatever but today we'll be discussing something that has recently popped up to me so I was on Instagram recently just scrolling through my insta feed and I saw something one of my friends had um, reposted on her story and it was a post by this um, Instagrammer called um, Ride Rips or something like that and it was talking about how Virgil Virgil Abloh from Off-White and Louis Vuitton so I'm just out of I will just call him Virgil in this instance um, he basically had ripped off a lot of design work from this person in question from the start to the end and he released this document which I will be looking through throughout the whole of this so yeah hold on to your hats for people this is gonna be a long long ride <laughs> but it's gonna be worth it so make sure to just get some popcorn sit down relax I don't know, put your feet up. I'm just, I just came out of a shower, so I'm just a bit like, oh. but anyway, hopefully you enjoy the rest of this video. So, um, here's the document. You lot would probably, I'm literally got the computer here. So I'm gonna be like looking left and right, left and right with the computer and the camera because man's not got a setup yet. I'm using some dusty ass tripod I found in my old, like in when I was throwing out some rubbish, but yeah. Cool. so let's go so as you can see this is not a document that I made this is a document made by the person in question his name's Ryder Rips as you can kind of see the title Virgil Abloh Theft of Ryder Rips so so Ryder Rips was well is still a designer and an artist as it says here he owns an agency he does and he basically he did a lot of work with like been Trill and the original brand that Virgil was part of because originally Virgil was part of a collective called Bill Bin Trill and then after that came Pyrex Vision and then after that came Off-White there was a whole fiasco about the names as well um, I believe there is the interview with ASAP Rocky by Kerwin Frost it kind of gave me a bit of inkling beforehand about how the brand had shifted and the whole group of Soho kids but anyway back on topic here so yeah, Rips and Abler started beginning work in like 2013. He uh, Rips basically built the website for Virgil, and throughout the whole of this, you see that Virgil really likes Rips's work. Like he's always congratulating him. He's saying that he's amazing. His work's perfect. But then obviously, the only reason Rips would say is like he Virgil's ripping him off. You'll see as we go along. So yeah, basically, yeah. He's also connected to Kanye West. So Kanye West is kind of like a middle friend between the two. Um, yeah, Bin True at the time had Kanye West as the creative director because Kanye was was friends with like the Soho kids. That was Lucas Abart, ASAP Rocky and all them lot. So they had connections in between each other. But yeah, so Kanye, as you can see, tweeted a picture with rips on the front of it. I believe, I don't know where that is actually. I thought that was Selfridges when I first saw it, but it's not so yeah basically there was a friendship between the two uh virgil rips and kanye was basically all good friends together and rips was making the websites and all the media for like good music and stuff like that but anyway back on topic so yeah as i was saying kanye west and good music and stuff rips was very much a part of all those kind of that group of people like as shown here you can see the pictures and blah blah, blah. i don't need to explain pictures pictures are on screen you should be able to see the screen if you don't see the screen that means I did a problem with my edit so yeah and obviously Heron Preston was also friends with that group 
and there's like Heron's girlfriend or partner or whatever, I don't, I don't really bother with their issues or yeah, basically they were also connected to Virgil as well. So it's like everyone in that group was all connected and they were all friends and stuff like that. But like Rips would go and do his own things. Like he would start doing more exhibitions and more artworks. And in the case that you'll see upcoming, Rips released two pieces of work, which was basically a scarf, a scarf and a jacket, which had designs to like say, scarf or pocket you can kind of guess where i'm going with this so yeah it was like this kind of um there was a connection basically so he dj'd and blah 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 there was a lot of connections but yeah you can see here on the left is riders which is he released this first as a scarf edition of 50 and off-white did something very similar to this now this is only one item of the case this is the other item pocket and this kind of naming of the elements was kind of something that Ryder came up with but Virgil carried on with obviously I'm not going to say Virgil copied him because as I said from the beginning I'm not involved in their issues or whatever I'm just an outsider reading a document so yeah even the usage of logos and stuff like certain imagery that type of imagery Ryder has already done and Virgil was kind of copying so yeah same as like the arrow thing but then the thing is i feel weird when it comes to like stuff like that because those are kind of creative imagery that's already used on other projects like loads of people have done that before um obviously the positioning and the usage of it can be considered like well it's one of those things where you don't know basically we don't know and i don't know same as like these kind of yellow kind of sculpture structure elements that Ryder did in his work Virgil almost copied it with like Nike the Nike collaborations and stuff like that there was a lot of elements that were too similar to be like just a coincidence and there was elements that Virgil commented on when Ryder was doing stuff for um, his new brand I think it was called yeah it says Abacus Pills and Ryder was making logos and imagery stuff for it, like mock-ups of packaging, sending it to Virgil because they're friends, so they're getting each other's work and stuff like that. And Virgil, as you can see, is like commenting on it, liking all of it, all this type of stuff. And as you can see on the image packaging on the left with the barcode and the details, and then Virgil also doing the same barcode details kind of imagery. It's the same with the logos and this logo shape because even look, I even admit here, this is very similar. Like look at the off-white logo and then look at the Abacus Pills logo. That there is a massive similarity between them two, but obviously no, I'm not involved. Same as like the measurements and stuff, the 200 milligrams, the pill design, stuff like that. Virgil was kind of inspired by it or copied it. I don't know. I'm not Diet Prada here. So yeah, it was like, there was a lot of artworks as well and things like that, that was kind of um, referenced or ripped off supposedly. Like Ryder rips with his Barbara Lee piece over there and then Off-White's piece over there. Very similar, even though in the previous slide, like Ryder showed him the concept work and the artwork for the work before it was released. So yeah. There's something a bit off about this because it's too similar of a idea that Virgil, I don't, I don't know if you've ripped him off, but it does look like there's something there. There is something there. Same as like when Ritz was working with Mark Jacobs um, for a lookbook collection with Disney. I didn't even realize this. I read this and I didn't even realize that was that. But yeah, like Ryder's graphics, same as like Virgil. It's like the kind of meta photo concept because it's like in the picture you see the model holding a picture of a no holding a well not even holding the reflection in the background is reflecting another reflection so it's reflection inception a reflection inception but then you have virgil on the other hand holding a copy of the book and then putting the picture of the holding the copy of the book so in essence the inception idea was kind of i would say mirrored there but you know what hey i'm out of that and the same kind of thing where it's like 
when it first started with Virgil Abloh and conceptual art, it would be showing him and his collaboration with Ryder. Like, as you can see, New York Times, the first thing would be Ryder Rips in 2015. But then now, suddenly, Virgil has now considered himself a conceptual artist. And you don't see anything when it comes to Ryder anymore. Even though Ryder and Virgil was the main kind of names that would pop up. That's kind of uh, what Ryder said. And personally for me, from one looking at all of this, the way I see it is, it does look like Virgil has taken elements or used inspiration from his friends to make his ideas. The only issue with this is, is I don't know if I should say it was ripped off because going back to Virgil's work, the kind of imagery that he used and stuff like that, those imagery has been known in graphics for so long that people have used it in other things let me see, i don't know if i'm going to put other pictures of the logo and stuff but i remember looking in a graphics book where it's talking about how on the when the airplanes where they're packaging the stuff they have the cross with the arrows and virgil basically took a picture of that and copied and put on his garment but then i don't think virgil is the case when it comes just the case when it comes to ripping off artists like i feel like him and Ryder need to talk in the sense of Ryder needs to discuss with Virgil about Virgil I don't feel right about you mir almost mirroring my stuff when I send you to work but then obviously I don't know obviously as I said I'm an outsider like Prada whatever they can sort these out they can deal with the hate I ain't going but I ain't involved in this instance well at least it's um, the good thing is at least this isn't like the Kylie Jenner situation or the Jenner's situation where they directly rip off new designers or and then they claim that they haven't or like there's designers that rip off other designers and then they get ripped off there is basically just go on diet Prada you can see the cases of many different people but yeah and literally this is one thing that popped up because everyone's suddenly talking about Virgil due to the Pop Smoke album cover which when I saw it I almost laughed because I was there like this doesn't look good he did the same thing with the octavian look um octavian one with the two swords it was cool and all but i because i have friends that knew people they were designing for octavian beforehand and their designs were a lot better but then obviously virgil's got a name so virgil kind of got into it and obviously right now virgil's in hot water because of the donation situation but anyway that's my take that's my take on this it's a short video i didn't want to do it very long because it's only a conversation really and it can start at the ball rolling when it comes down to protection of your own work because as it's been advised to me and many other new designers and new artists when you get money copyright your work protect your work because other people can rip you off protect all your work because end of the day we're living in a tough world right now so yeah but hopefully you learned something or hopefully you enjoyed today um, as I said, this is going to probably be like a short video because looking at the recording, it's only been like 12 minutes and I know I'm going to trim this down to probably eight minutes or something, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video today. It's a quick one. Um, I want to do another higher or lower. So if you are interested, hit me up on my socials. It should be in the comments below. Same as the uh, my link tree which basically has all the relevant links to Black Lives Matter, Yemen situation, all those type of things because end of the day these things are not going to change or not going to develop unless people do something about it so why don't you but yeah thank you lot for watching hope to see you soon make sure you like subscribe hit the notification bell because as I said I have no plans of when I drop like I'm trying to go on a schedule but that schedule is probably not going to happen anytime soon so yeah anyway like comment subscribe you know what to do hit the notification bell because you don't know when I'm going to do it eh, yeah don't know why I'm doing this at the end <laughs> but anyway peace out people